it's Juniper by the Polyp. And as you may have known, I had an ileostomy for six years. Now, I normally only got about three, four days worth of my appliance before I had to change it. Well, my friend Kevin, he has an ileostomy. He's a marathon runner. He runs, I think, every day. And he has an, he gets seven to 10 days out of his ileostomy. So we thought it'd be great if he showed you how he changes his appliance and what he uses. So I will list in the description what he uses for it and his email if you'd like to have any questions or anything for him. Greetings so everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I do my ostomy change. And to begin, I'm going to show you some of the items that I use. First, we've got the ostomy bag. And we have the ring that adheres to the skin. And to reinforce the ring and the seal, we've got the cohesive seals here. And in order to remove the adhesive from the skin, I will be using the universal remover wipes here. And one thing is going to happen before we adhere everything to the skin. We want to protect the skin with a no sting barrier film which will be put on just before everything is adhered to the skin. And you will see that. And to size my ring for my stoma size, I will be using this. And I, I use the one and an eighth to cut my ring size in this case with the curved scissors and the pencil to draw, as you will see. And these are the cleaning pads that I will use um, to clean up the skin. So, we will make preparations to begin. The first thing I'm going to do is to prepare my ring to size it for my size. So I used the size ring to, to draw the circle where I'm going to cut this ring. I will do that next. Okay, as you can see, I re removed the ring. I'm going to save that because that's going to play an important part in, in our next step here. Next thing is, I will be preparing my cohesive ring. That's my extra reinforcing seal that helps to keep the, uh, keep the seal on the, on the ring. Um, and so I'm going to uh, form that and adjust it um, to my needs. I will show you what it looks like after I'm done. As you can see, I am with, with my fingers, I'm forming that to fit on for this hole. And to make sure it's the right size, that's why I saved the piece there because what I'm doing is sizing it to that part that I cut out. See? And then next I'm going to begin to formulate this so that it will um, allow the appliance to, to fit well. 
and you'll see what I do in the next step. Okay, as you can see, I have uh, flattened the sides down a little bit so that it would, uh, that's, this is the side that will adhere to the skin. The other side is going to be flat and you want to have the flat side of this ring against the other ring here that you're going to adhere to this. This is the first thing that's going to go on to the skin to provide the seal around your stoma. So now we we can discard this because we we have finished with that since we have sized it to that there. So I do this preparation even before I remove the the uh, deteriorating ring from the skin and even before you begin to prepare the skin or anything so that everything is set and so that I can just begin to to move um, step to step as you will see. I wanted to mention also that the I find the best time to do the appliance change is first thing in the morning or early in the morning before uh, you've eaten or consumed anything because if you do you eat anything uh, you're, you're going to have to work around the uh, stoma uh, putting contents out and that gets kind of messy when you're trying to do this kind of change so I highly recommend doing the change first thing in the morning or after a period of not eating for or drinking any water for a little bit so that would be my suggestion okay now I have removed the uh, appliance this is the old ring and I'm going to begin to remove that and I'm going to use the this in order to put the, the old ring in to discard it. Now, as you can see, we have a bunch of uh, all this uh, adhesive that needs to be removed. And the first thing I begin to do is to kind of use fingernails gently to remove it, kind of wipe around it a little bit to clean it up. You can also notice the skin is generally in pretty good shape. That's because the of the seal and because of that um, skin protection, the, the barrier wipe that I was mentioning there. Okay. That's very important in this process. Okay. So we continue to clean that up good. Toilet paper is handy. And next I'm going to use my uh, adhesive remover, which can, is contained in these packets. And well, hopefully I can see this okay, but so I'm, I'm taking the adhesive remover, going around the skin, getting everything cleaned off really well. You want to make sure all of that adhesive is removed from around the stomach. Need that until it's all removed. And any of the um, remaining um, fluid in the uh, adhesive remover is, is wonderful for removing any 
adhesive that you may have on your your fingers great uh, great to use it that way so now as hopefully you can see I have uh, cleaned up the skin really well and all the adhesive is removed so the next thing I'm going to do is use use my pads here that I showed you earlier and I'm going to use this um, cleansing foam to finish cleaning up the, the skin because it's really important to make sure that 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 skin around the stoma is really clean so that it will adhere well. So cleaning up as, as so. Clean up everything good then and it also prepares the skin, keeps the skin in good shape. You don't want that thing to get irritated. That that is no fun. Okay, and clean it off with your second pan. <clears throat> clean everything good. There, now that that's done, I use um, toilet paper a lot to keep the stoma, as, as you know, will probably will get moist a lot and you want to try and keep that skin as dry as possible during this process. As you can see, I've got a uh, shaver here and as, as we know, we get uh, skin that kind of or uh, hair that kind of goes off along that. Be very careful this. going to clean that hair off makes things adhere better see that that's all cleaned up now so I'm just going to wipe everything down again again it's important to keep that skin dry keep the uh, keep the stone as dry as you can we want to make sure the skin is really dry. And the next thing I'm going to do is now I'm, I'm getting very close to finishing up the process, but the very next important step is to use this barrier, no sting barrier film. And, uh, so I'm, I'm going to prepare the skin with that next. Again, keep the skin dry all the time while you're, you're while you're doing this. That's important. Okay, and and now I'm just getting the uh, pad ready to adhere. I I've uh, got that ready to to put on pretty quickly. So now I'm going to use this barrier film for the skin to protect it also to help adhere everything really well so okay i've got my protection film Let's see where is that little guy there he is okay we're gonna wipe that around coat the skin well but it's important only to wipe once over this because otherwise it becomes ineffective so now what I'm going to do is wave my hand in front of it to dry it because you want that to dry and again keep everything dry 
you want it dry when you adhere the ring. See, I'm waving my hand, see, in front of it to, to dry the barrier film on the skin. Want it to be dry. Usually it just takes just a, oh, probably about 30 seconds. Okay. Now, that should be about dry. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is adhere this seal right to the skin. And remember before I said we have one side that is convex, the other side is flat. You want the flat side out. So I'm going to put this on like so. That goes on your skin around the stomach and you want to make sure that you get that down and adhered well. And again, the, the flat edges were here because that will help your uh, ring to adhere much better. Is we're going to adhere our ring. So I'm going to peel this off. Okay, so now we've got that seal. We're going, and that, that's flat, see? And that's why you wanted to have this flat. So I'm going to now adhere that to there. Like so, okay? And first thing I wanna do is adhere the inside of this. This is where you really want it to be sealed well. So make sure that is all pushed down good. Push, you see? Push that down really well. Make sure it's adhered to the seal real well. Now, should have a pretty good seal. Now, there is some gap here, but that Generally, with these seals, it, it tends to fill in pretty quick. And I generally keep this on for, oh, a week to 10 days normally. And that's even, even while I'm running and so forth and sweating and so forth, and it still stays on because of the preparations that I've shown you in this video so far. Okay. Next, once that is here, we're going to then peel off the rest of the stuff here. Okay, and what I like to do is stretch. I'm, I'm trying to raise my arms up so because if you don't do that, when you do stretch, you'll feel it really pull on your skin. So okay, so we've made a good seal. You've we've taken the steps to make sure that that stays on really well. Everything is in good shape now. And the final step, that's, that's nice about having these two-piece um, appliances because then, see, you're, then you're going to adhere the bag to your ring. So, now I'm going to be all set for the next 
hopefully a week, week or so. And I hope, hope this video has been really helpful to you. Feel free to <clears throat> send me any questions or any thoughts or considerations. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Life's Apollo blog and shop and subscribe and like, and I'll talk to you soon.